Okay, here we go with part two with uh, Adam Cashville, Mises, and everybody in the crew on this video. And, um, you know, I'm interested to see where which direction this uh, conversation is going to go. The first part, you know, they were talking about all kind of stuff. Like, I think we, the way it ended part one, the way I ended part one is that Adam said he had a voice memo, dude, that, um, that, that he, he had sent that cash had sent him about how he would rather be with, uh, that he, 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 he basically that he liked, uh, Adam over church. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Uh, let's get right into it. Don't want to waste your time. Crickets. The nigga escaped. I mean, the guy escaped. My bad. Nah, nah. I think I think his I think his internet messed up. Well, you, you guys, you guys. My bad. 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 Uh, I keep seeing the chat just keeps getting triggered because Claude's saying <laughs> racist terms. Like, <laughs> yo. Yo, can y'all hear me now? Serious. I, I hope that made it. Through. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, we hear you, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, you know, I don't know, bro. You know, you've been to me, it's been you've been sleep dishing for a long time, bro. I mean, I wish you put a name on that shit. That, that none of this would be going bro, on. I think. I think. All right, so I want to say that um, here we are. This is part two. The first video I did, we was thirty minutes in. Now, so so for for so far for sure now, for 31, 32 minutes straight, um, Cashville has said to Adam, "You're slick dissing." I mean, for th we're talking about 30, 32 minutes now. I mean, you got anything else? <clears throat> anything else to say other than that? I think you're just I think you're just taking things it's literally general like it's general fucking rap just competitive rap if I wanted to put a name on it I would just put a name on it and trust me bro and, then, I, I and that's like saying Ryan doesn't slick this people come uh, on bro I want to Adam, uh, Adam can I ask you a question Adam yeah 100% all right, so a lot of people are in the chat are talking about the necklace. And I know you already said it once, but can you re-tell the story about the necklace, please? Yeah. So when I was when I was done recording my album down there in Tennessee, um, I believe the date that I wrote on the letter was February 20th. I want to say 22nd or 28th. Don't quote me on that, but it's one of those two dates. And... um. I went down. I had to swallow everything in me because I was like, this is it, man. I'm, I'm leaving Tennessee. I'm going back to Illinois. I don't know if I'll ever see Ryan again or talk to him again, but I at least want him to know this. If I'm not going to talk to him, I'll just write this down on this letter. I'll put this chain that I've been mean, meaning to give him uh, forever in it, and I hope he gets it. Because the first – see, a lot of people don't know. The first thing Ryan ever – like, like we used to – like, so Ryan gave me this cowhide one day and I didn't have nothing on me to give him so I took the I I had I wear gold like gold rings gold necklaces because I was broke my whole life but my my mother's father his name was Poppy we he he wore gold so I was thought it was the coolest thing in the world so anyways Ryan gives me this cowhide one day this is years ago and I didn't have nothing to give him so I took the first gold ring that I ever bought and I took it off my finger and I gave him that gold ring because he gave me that cowhide and and I left and when I, when my son was in the service in the army in Alaska, I was, I, I went, you know, you can go and dig for gold and all that. And I found this big ass fucking gold nugget and I had it put on a chain and the fucking nugget looks just like this tree that's on the side of Ryan's property on his other property that we've been around, rode by and did, did all that shit, sat by it and all that shit. And I just wrote in a letter like, Hey bro, I don't know if I'll ever see you again. I don't know what's going on, but I always, if you ever need me, you know, you can always call me. This necklace is for your firstborn son. I know he was hoping he had a son, but I know he's happy he's having a daughter too. So I was hoping, rooting for him to have a boy. And I, I, I wrote that letter, put that necklace in there, put it in an envelope and gave it to his security and I went home. 
you, <clears throat> you know, what I think is shady was the way that church represented this chain in his video when he was coming at Adam and the fleas video. I mean, he portrayed it as look at this chain, this joker, this crazy flea, this clout chaser uh, shows up at my, my gate and, and drops this off with my security. I mean, he doesn't say that it, it, it doesn't go into detail about all of that. I think that's pretty shady of him. And if you watch a lot of church's videos, I'm not trying to bash church, man. I'm just telling you, I watch the videos and I'm just telling you what I see. Cause I'm sure this is going to piss some people off, but church is notorious for, for, for not telling you the whole story and getting you riled up. He's notorious for taking a piece of something and playing it and not giving the whole context to it just to fit his narrative. Shit happens all the time, man. And, and I don't understand. It's been all these years. See, I used to have a reaction channel and, you know, life got, got a hold of me and I, I had to stop doing it. I was tired too tired to con keep continue to do it. And I probably reacted to probably 50 <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating uh church videos and over all that time you see that he's kind of he, he does that. That was it. That was my last ditch attempt to say hey man fuck all this bullshit like that's it. That's it. So you didn't drop it off the other day. This was months ago. Yeah, that was in February, dog. Okay. Okay, uh, let me uh, look, look at him. From Jesus, uh, as hold on. What, hold uh, on. What, what, go ahead. Sorry. What, Johnny? Adam, little, little do you know about, little contrary to what you hear about me from people that don't like me. From, and I, the weird reason is I don't understand why they don't like me either. It's kind of weird. But um, anyways, I'm really all for like, people coming together in peace bro like i really truly am um offline though i would like to see if i can get you and him on the phone together at least and like work this without all these fans and all this weird shit in the way i would really and i told tim that the other day like i think i could because i know you're probably sitting over there thinking i'm gassing this just because i don't like you and i don't like you for my own reasons it has nothing to do with up church you know now why I'm pissed at you because I really wish you would have came to me instead of going to talk shit behind my back. I wish I would have known that's why you were mad at me, dog. Like, seriously, bro, because I, like when I left your house, I, I, I literally, a week later, was at his house and I was like, no, nah, man, fuck with dudes, cool, dudes, cool as shit. I just left from there. He didn't even know I was up there. Johnny, I was like, dude, on some real shit, if I would have known, I wish I would have known that. Because Not the I, part I, about you talking about church, about the part that why you were upset. Yeah, no, nah, that's the whole reason, the whole goddamn time. I'm glad, like, damn, I'm glad bro, it just hit me blindly because I'm like, fuck, man, like, and I'm over here. I didn't say nothing bad. I never said I wrote anything for you or nothing. I never said any of that type of shit. Why would I say that? It sounds dumb. Hell, I tried to give you a hook. You didn't want it. Y'all was on some, like, New York type shit. And it, 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 fuck, I had a good time, bro. The son's cool as shit. Your manager's cool as shit. I had a great time, man. I was like, fuck, I left there like, oh, yeah, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I said, you know what? Let me go meet this dude. I'm glad I went. You know what I'm saying? And then to come home and then you come down here and record and you're talking shit about me. I'm just like, fuck. God damn, bro. What the fuck did I? And then I I, I, I might be wrong, but I'm thinking, oh, uh, okay. I see where he's getting his information from because they've always done that to me. You know who I'm talking about. They've yeah, always I do done not, me now like I that, do. Bro. Now I know who you're talking about. Yeah. They've done me like that for years, bro. For years, way back. For no reason, for no reason whatsoever. I've always, I, I never coattail ride people. I've always done my own thing. I've always, anybody that knows me will tell you I don't have songs with them dudes for a reason because I do my own thing. I'm, I don't, I'm just not that dude, bro. I, I don't, this is not me. That's not how I get down. But I would really like to, let me see what I can work out. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're willing. I, you know what I mean? I know a lot's been said. And a lot's been done, but I don't think it went that far where, you know, maybe as grown men, we can all, you know,
I mean, I, I think it's great that he's trying to make peace and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, in part one, he was saying that a lot of shit about how uh, other than, I mean, I understand the conflict between them. I mean, you know, you want to resolve that. But you were still sitting there saying, man, you were still sitting there saying that uh, uh, church can, church going to beat you in a rap battle and all this kind of shit, man. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. This shit in the bud and take it offline because this is where it don't need to be. You know what I I'm saying? I would love to take like, it offline, bro. I don't like being on here on this shit. I would rather, I would much rather be offline. And Adam, if you remember me, I told you that the other day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, let me, um, let me, uh, let me work my, uh, man, if you don't mind, man, give your number to Tim, man. I don't have your number no more. So, like if you can just shoot it, shoot it to him when y'all get offline, and let me let me see what I can work out, man. He's got a lot going on. I don't know if you know what's going on, but there's a lot going on besides this, you know. And I don't know. I, just let me let, just let me try, bro. And, and we'll talk about our shit later because this is bigger than me. Your shit's little, but you and him, we'll, let's just try to work it out. All right, Johnny. I don't care I, what I don't, I don't care what nobody says. This is just grown man shit. Like everybody's grown, you know what I'm saying? Like we're. Hey, all Johnny. I hope grown. that happens, bro. Just so you know. I do pray about it, bro. I will. I will. I'll take it a step further, man. If that all goes down, I'm yanking all this shit. Any of this shit that had anything to do with this off my shit. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hit y'all. I'm gonna uh, hey, shoot Tim that number. I'm gonna hit y'all tomorrow. All right, all right, good. All right. No, I'm gonna let you know. You heard what Misa said, right? And then Johnny acts like he's going to try to resolve this situation. Church ain't backing off this because no, not happening. All right, Johnny, appreciate yeah. it. There's a question from Mises, uh What's up? Wanting to know if he dropped uh, the disc, knowing that Church was dropping James Dean video today. No, I didn't know he dropped. I, I mean, I know I knew he had the song out by the time I dropped mine, but yeah, I, I that was I didn't do it because he put his song out. I, I mean, obviously, I I knew that he once I I heard that he put that song out, but that was not why I dropped. Kurt just said, Adam, who gave you my number? Kurt, you gave me your number in your DMs, dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Crazy, man. I hope I hope she gets work out. You know, it'd be great to see Amen. A2 Church and, like, Broadnecks on the track. That, I would, that, for me... I'd be fucking ecstatic seeing something like that. I'd rather go an extra step and say I would like to see all the big dogs in the independent game do a country rap cypher. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would I would really like to help out uh in my Batman opinion. The feature. <laughs> I could I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I feel like country rap isn't as has I feel like it's fell back a little. Because there's less, I feel like there's less relevant guys that there used to be, and I would love to try to help these new guys, uh, or do whatever I can, whether it's a song or whatever the fuck it is, music video, song, because I feel like we need new guys to be popping, or else this shit is gonna die. Uh, I agree. I agree. But that's, that's why I started the show called the Rundown to help bring up independent artists. <laughs> I feel recognized. like there's not, I feel like there's like a, I just feel like there's a lot, I, I don't feel like it's as big, like there used to be so many guys and I don't feel like there is now. I feel like it's very, am, is, is, does anyone else understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Here's the thing I have about what Adam's saying right now. That's just me, an observer for years out, you know, I'm not a rapper. Um, I'm a connoisseur of uh, country rap and you know w when about what three four five years ago maybe i guess when when church and adam got together it was like church and adam 
went on a rampage, man. They they were they were taking they were dissing so many country rappers that like these guys that were coming up and you know church's fan base and, and then adam got his fan base and then those two fan bases together was crushing <laughs> country rap man and um you know it was hard to get in the door to me it was and and a lot of these guys you know I'm not saying that they got ran off or whatever but to to have to deal with this you know trying to compete with the success of adam and church was probably pretty difficult because to truth be told to me of course you know church and adam are were, were, were the top tier guys and to try to compete with them was probably pretty difficult and i don't know it's it's it, you know he, he's talking about wanting to help the guys out which is great but back in the day, it's just like when I start, first started training jujitsu back 24 years ago, you know, once I started learning jujitsu, I was younger and my, my, my goal was to just choke and armbar the hell out of everybody I encountered. But now that I've gotten older, I teach jujitsu, um, every week. And now I just want to help people instead of crush people so maybe this is, has something to do with getting older yeah yeah you know what i mean like yes jen i see it yes burden too <laughs> so it's like i would i would love to um i think i might just put a thing out on instagram saying anybody that's like actually doing like actually working and like 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 just trey for example that kid's put out like fucking like 30 songs in a month you know what I'm saying? It's like you might you might want to listen to his last song before you say anything good about him. <laughs> he, I'm not. I don't have nothing bad. I don't have five bad albums to say for the year. You gotta understand. I know Trey. I I, I know. I don't. Yeah, know yeah. Him. I, I, I was friend, But I know Trey. I've spent time with him. I've talked to him on the phone. He's a good. He's a good young man. But I'm just saying, guys like that that are really like really trying, and they and they're not, and you can tell that they're not going to let let it go to waste. Like when me and Ryan did that song and everything, I didn't, I didn't let that shit go to waste. I kept running, uh, and trying to do as best as I can. And you know what? My my goal was always okay. Ryan's leading. I'm gonna chase. I'm gonna chase. I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot for trying to, um, like Ryan is the goal. The goal is that guy got big. I let's try to get that big. And I've never, and, and some people, and I fell short and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? But on the way, I'm going to try to help and bring up these guys with me. Um, we'll see. I was on, I was on, uh, you know, in the messages of Tyler's um, live stream last night. And this, this came up the Trey, just Trey. Why, why did he take his diss down? Perhaps this is why. Because he listened to this and heard <clears throat> the good things that Adam had to say about him. Maybe this is why he took his diss track down. So, sounds good. Sounds like Adam is going to try to help. I also listened to uh, yesterday Triple T's live when he was driving down the road. Where Adam is, they're having some kind of contest that um adam is going to that, that they're going to pick one up and coming um country rapper and adam is going to do i think adam's going to do a a a video with them and all kind of stuff so they're 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 actually doing what they say they're doing um because you like i said before ryan regardless of what whatever what happens after this or whatever the fuck like what what roads do, or what shit happens Ryan has done oh. something that is very hard to duplicate. I was the only one that came close independently. Um, and it's still, I think he's, you know, probably double or something like that. Streaming. Yeah, he's definitely number one. And actually, yeah, he's number one. No, and and, you, and that's another yeah. thing. You're never going to hear me. Yeah. You're never going to hear me be like, like not say that the truth. You know what I'm saying? And you're never going to hear me uh, like, be mad or upset about it 
You know what I mean? Like, all I'm saying is I feel like lately things, there's not as many guys. The guys, the older guys kind of got phased out and there's no new blood. So it's like it needs to it needs to be have some new guys in this motherfucker and get this shit cracking again. You know what I'm saying? And that's just my opinion. Yeah. Well, like kind of what was talked about earlier, you know, you made when you guys dropped Die Tonight, you made use of the push from that song to build yourself. A lot of the guys that have had those opportunities with church didn't take that opportunity to really get themselves no they thought that they thought that song or that music they was gonna do it for them but you gotta work i mean this takes a lot of work like i said my second album that had that had uh john on it and some other features my third album had uh it, the next two albums didn't have they it just had newer people on it or people that maybe i think big murph and justin time stuff like that you know so it's like if this is going to be an actual force to be reckoned with, and like it get, it's got to get bigger. It's got to get solid. It can't have all this infighting for no reason. This shit is is gay, and it it sucks that it's on online too. Which is, I guess, I should. I, I'd love to come. You know, I'd love to do T as I'd love to come on once a month and just do like one something that doesn't have anything to deal with drama. Just like one of your shows that you guys do, and you're like judging judging music or whatever the fuck. You're more than welcome. To, you're more than welcome to be a, a, a guest judge on a rundown. Yeah, I, w- I would love to do that because uh, this shit is this shit is whack. Super and, whack. Uh, no, yes. say mean things to people. Yeah. That's why you're here. <laughs> and and hey, Flaw, so just so you know, we're we're gonna have one week where we're gonna have reactors react to it. I like for you I'm to down. be a guest I'm judge. I'm here, bro. I'm here. Okay. Hey, fellas, I gotta jump. Uh, T, I appreciate you having me on. Hey, and- me, you're still in my top five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll that's check out your music one films. day, Mises. What's that? I said I'll check out your music someday. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, man. You're, 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 you got to go DJ for Kurt now, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's Team Kurt. He banded you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. the tape to prove it. <laughs> I got it, yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. He's not broke. Have a good one. Say how do you like? I will. All right. I'll figure out how to end this shit. Oh, leave. That's probably how you do it. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I understand what Adam is saying about, you know, this is gay um, stuff like that and would like for everybody to get together and do this, this and that and not have all this beef. But at the same time, this is a part of rap there's good i mean there has to be conflict at some point there's too many people putting out their stuff and trying to get get out there and true but even though this has been uh kind of ugly and you know i think it was yesterday church puts out a his rap, whatever. And um, this has a buzz to it. There's more people with their eyes focused on what's next to where for a while there, country rap has been stagnant. It's been just sitting there. But this has brought people out of the woodworks to say, what's going on? I'm interested in what's happening. Sometimes conflicts are beneficial. Now, for it to drag on is not beneficial. But there is a buzz right now in in this industry because because of Adam and 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 Church having their conflict. And and I guarantee you it's across the board where not only Adam and Church but others are getting more views up because of it. So in one hand, it's bad. In the other hand, it's pretty good for people. I'm a dumb rapper. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, look, I will say this. I know it started out heated when Kurt and Floyd came up. I was, I troll. I don't, I'm not actually mad. People think I'm mad. I just yell a lot. I don't actually care. It's the internet. My wife just informed me that Just Ray just took his song down. Nice. Yeah. 
Nice. Oh, a couple of people have been saying that in the chat. That's awesome, though. Like, like actually, if that's from, like, a cool place, like, I don't know. <laughs> nah, he's just fixing some lines. He's putting some receipts <laughs> in it. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think we, I, I, I think we got, like I that. think we were uh, able to get a lot of accomplished tonight. I think a lot of things got worked out between, hopefully Adam and Johnny, hopefully Johnny and Mises, and hopefully Johnny can talk can to the church, church to squash all this and yeah. everybody. Can we all can agree go back. that that BX Beast Boy is just a, 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 a yes, he's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. Yes, he's, yes. he's yeah, a weirdo. He's watching right now. So Beast Boy, you're a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Hey. Fuck yeah, you, no, you're, you're a dusty ass, uh, yeah, dusty Larry. He dusty is, yeah, by far. I but, was actually gonna ask that while Kurt was in here. You, I wanted him to say it with me, but like, I don't know why Upchurch even associates with him because that's like the he, this nigga is like causing so many issues, and Upchurch just like feeds into it. I don't get it. It's a bunch of bullshit. When he was Honestly, live the I, night that they were trying to convince everybody that country rap Kendrick was a diss track, mm -hmm. Kansas Red Man pointed out some weird shit that uh drake said to a 17 year old girl and he's like that guy's got pedo uh tendencies for 45 minutes beast boy brow beat it rebel so hard that he flipped his his statement and bro, apologized i've seen videos on beast boy, bro i've seen weird videos on beast boy bro he said well, he was creep, me. Though. i'm still waiting to get sued bro yeah, oh yeah, like he, he, videos I found of him. He says yeah. he's doing everybody. He's gonna yeah. collect channels. <laughs> Bitch, ain't no lawyer yeah. gonna lose their career yeah. fucking representing you over that. Sue the shit. nigga who made the video. The person, my bad. I say nigga so much, bro. Sue the, the person uh, that made on, the video. I, I I I think you're hilarious. It's, it's not what Johnny said. Oh, it's because he doesn't. I I I don't think you don't like up I think you're. I think you're hilarious. Your reactions are hilarious. You're you're you're. <laughs> You're funny as fuck, so I appreciate what Thank you do, you, Tim. Thank you for Thank shedding you. light, shedding light on uh, on all this stuff that's going on. And, and Tyler, thanks for having Mises back. And and and, and I don't know. That and that's guy. the first time I've ever called him Mises in my life. Wow, that was. Good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Shut up. Up. It's Jack. <laughs> and the other guy, I don't know who you are, man, but uh, respect. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go take a shower. Shit. I, I, hey, at the end of the day, man, this is just internet shit. And I I wish yeah. we could work this all out. And 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 uh, I mean, that's all I'll say. It's, I hope it all works out. And if it doesn't, well, I guess you guys will be there for the ride. Yeah. Yes, sir. I appreciate yeah. you, Adam. Apparently, uh, Hitman's I'm, trying to get a feature. What's up, Adam. bro? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Calhoun. And St. Mises, Johnny Cashville, Captain Kurt, and, and Game Reacts. You haven't left yet. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to, though. I got to go to bed. I know my girl wants to be in there. And but, then we have Flawed TV. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you guys. Hey, I appreciate you coming up. And once again, appreciate the memberships. And I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up on IG and let you know when we're going to do the reaction uh, panel for the rundown. Okay, man. Appreciate you guys. Peace out, y'all. I, I appreciate well. it. All right, that's where we're going to end this part two. There won't be a part three, looks like. So, here's my here's my here's my my take on it. It's great, you know. Johnny Cashfield came on my comments yesterday, just like 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 he was just pissed off that I had stopped the video where it was at. Well, I don't want to do two hour long videos. I mean, I'm sorry. So I stopped it at a point where I thought was a good point in the video. And now I see what he's saying it, where he, they were trying to work it out and I should have gotten that, that part. Well, you know what? This is my channel and this is how I'm doing it. But do, do I think, um, church is Cashville is going to have any influence on church. No, I don't. Do I think church is going to apologize for anything? No, I don't. I, I don't see how they're going to resolve this. And, you know, the, the, there's been too much said so far. I'm still waiting for uh, proof of these diss tracks that Adam has put out. I still, we still haven't seen the, the this yet. Um, you know, 
And plus yesterday, Church puts out the, his somewhat of a diss, if you want to call it that, and he's still going at it. He's still talking shit. He's still, I don't see any, I don't see him stopping anytime soon, regardless of what, who, who says what to who. Who's to say that church is even going to even talk to Cashville? He may not. This could go on forever. It may get to the point to where even Adam starts putting out tracks against Adam. I mean, against church and, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, Mises may end up responding again. Who knows? So I don't know. It's gonna, We're going to have to see what happens and how it's going to go and who's going to do what and, and all those things. But, Right now, right now, it looks like it's, uh, as of yesterday, nothing's going to change because church is putting out more stuff against people. You know, it'd be nice if people would start naming names. You know, Cashville's talking about people slick dissing, Adam specifically. Well, what do you think church does every time he puts out something? It's funny. Nobody brings that up. So that's the end of this one. Uh, we'll move on to more stuff, more content. So I do appreciate you, the subscribers I've gotten lately. Um, I appreciate all the comments, even though a lot of them is church fans thinking that I hate church when I don't. So anyway, I appreciate you watching until next time. See ya.